The long-awaited launch of the SpaceX Starship was brought to an end this week. The Starship, the most powerful rocket ever built, blasted off in Texas on April 20, 2023. And though the rocket made it off the launch pad, it failed to reach orbit after it exploded a few minutes from launch over the Gulf of Mexico. This event has generated some comments from the brain behind the invention. Elon Musk, what has he said? And what's the impact of his declaration on the Starship? Watch on to find out. Since the start of the development of the Starship in 2012, the rocket technology has undergone several milestones, and the recent orbital launch is probably the biggest yet. This launch marked the vehicle's historic first test flight. The SpaceX Starship blasted off from Boca Chica, Texas, just after 9.30 a.m. on April 20th, soaring into the air at a record-breaking amount of power. Unfortunately, the rocket exploded about four minutes into flight. The explosion occurred due to a failure during the second stage separation process. The first stage separated successfully after the critical max Q point, where aerodynamic pressure intensifies, stressing the rocket inordinately. The rocket achieved this, although six of its 33 engines shut down shortly after liftoff, which showed the capacity and resilience the spacecraft was built with. However, in the second stage, where there was supposed to be a separation of the upper stage Starship from the lower stage Super Heavy, was where the failure came in. The Super Heavy booster is used to propel the Starship aircraft into orbit. But for the upper stage Starship to separate from the lower stage Super Heavy rocket, the Starship does not use an active mechanism like other rockets. It simply unscrews itself like twisting off a bottle cap to open the connection clamps and then waits for centrifugal force to force separation. And this seems to be the mechanism that failed during this flight test. It was probably the least expected failure point for the space company. With the failure of the two stages to disintegrate, the mission control team issued a command to detonate the explosive charges on both stages of the vehicle, between the oxygen and methane tanks. This reaction exploded and destroyed the rocket, preventing a dangerous and uncontrolled fall of the rocket. As the Super Heavy booster rocket quickly burned its fuel, the 400-foot, 120-meter Starship could not break free and would have fallen to ground in one piece, causing significant risk to life and property. Fortunately, such situation was prevented, though the surrounding area felt the impact of the powerful force of the rocket as debris was scattered in the surrounding area. But for the space company, this was just a test flight and they intended to see just how far it would go. So with the rocket lasting about four minutes, that was an incredible accomplishment. According to John Innsbrucker, a SpaceX engineer who was serving as a launch commentator on the company's webcast, this was a development test. This was the first test flight of Starship and the goal is to gather the data and as we said, clear the pad and get ready to go again. Innsbrucker concluded, also, this test flight gives the Mega Rocket a place in the record books as it became the biggest, tallest, and most powerful rocket to take flight. This launch was first scheduled for Monday, but was called off less than 10 minutes before the launch due to a pressurization issue in the first stage booster, which was caused by a frozen valve. Engineers decided to change tactics and approach the remaining launch attempt as a wet dress rehearsal, which is effectively a practice run that puts teams through all the launch procedures except for the actual launch. Now, although it ended in a blast, several of the company's expectations for the rocket were met in the test launch. Clearing the launch pad was one of them. It was a major achievement for Starship. Before the launch, the CEO of SpaceX, Elon Musk, tried to tailor their expectations, saying success should not be what was expected. He had said ahead of the launch that if Starship was far enough away from the launch pad before something goes wrong, then I think I would consider that to be a success, adding, just don't blow up the launch pad. And luckily it didn't. That would be insane, honestly. That would have been a miracle if we had gone all the way with a test like this. Success comes from what we learn. And today's test will help us improve Starship reliability as SpaceX seeks to make life multiplanetary. SpaceX tweeted after the launch. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson also took to Twitter to congratulate SpaceX for the test flight. Congratulations to its SpaceX on Starship's first integrated flight test. Every great achievement throughout history has demanded some level of calculated risk. Because with great risk comes great reward, Nelson wrote. 
I'm looking forward to all that SpaceX learns to the next flight test and beyond. Meanwhile, an explosion is nothing new for SpaceX. The company has a history of embracing fiery mishaps during the rocket development process. According to SpaceX, having these problems were the fastest and most effective way to gather data, which distinguishes it from NASA, a close partner which prefers slow methodical testing to dramatic flare-ups. As mentioned earlier, Starship has undergone several milestones since Space Us began working on it. They began building the first stainless steel prototype of Starship, called the Starhopper, in Texas, where it successfully launched in August 2019 on a minute-long low-altitude test flight known as HOP. After its pilot innovation, a series of suborbital test flights have been conducted to stress systems and components. In December 2020, the upper stage Starship SN8 prototype was the first to successfully launch from Starbase. After takeoff, it sailed to a high altitude suborbital apogee and briefly appeared to hover before turning around to make a belly flop descent back to Earth. However, it exploded a few meters away from its launching pad, but the explosion didn't hinder SpaceX from achieving all of its core objectives for the test. The Starship SN9 prototype took flight in February 2021. The 165-foot vehicle launched on a quick test, throttled down its Raptor engines automatically at about 33,000 feet, and then performed a belly flop, using adjustable fins to establish a trajectory back toward the launch site. Though the primary goal of SpaceX for the test was met, SN9 failed to fully flip from a belly down to an upright position causing it to explode. Starship SN10 successfully completed all mission objectives and executed the first next-generation vehicle landing during SpaceX's third high-altitude Starship flight in March 2021. However, the spacecraft unexpectedly exploded minutes later. Starship SN15 was the first to launch and land intact in May 2021. SN15 launched from a concrete pad, reached an altitude of 10 kilometers, 33,000 feet, and then descended back to the launch site using its body as an air brake. Just before touchdown, it quickly turned around and gently landed, powered by two Raptor engines, marking a first for the program. And that said, Musk's justification for working on Starship and Super Heavy rests on his conviction that humanity must become a multiplanetary species sooner rather than later. His words that success comes from what we learn and today's test will help us improve Starship's reliability as SpaceX seeks to make life multi-planetary, are evidence that Musk views Starship as the vehicle that will enable SpaceX realize its vision of putting humans on other planets. Elon Musk conceived this goal of making humans multi-planetary in a bid to preserve civilization. According to him, settling humans on other worlds such as Mars could preserve civilization if Earth were to experience a cataclysm like a large asteroid impact. History is going to bifurcate in two directions. One path is that we stay on Earth forever and then there will be some eventual extinction event, Musk said in 2016. The alternative is to become a spacefaring civilization and a multi-planet species, which I hope you would agree is the right way to go. To achieve this dream, there will be a need for a vehicle that's up for the task. This is probably where the Starship comes in. Starship is a rocket and spacecraft combination that can transport more than 100 people to the Red Planet. The system is designed to be fully and rapidly reusable. To make another attempt at the launch of Starship, SpaceX will need a new launch license from the FAA. But the company doesn't expect the process to be as tedious as securing the license for the April 20th launch. And that's a wrap on it. What do you think about this current achievement of the Starship? Are you looking forward to a second launch of the spacecraft? We'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one.